coming up on today's episode of Airborne Uncrewed. FAA accepting Lance applications. UAVionics bought out by investment firm. And Joby CAE working on training systems. Hi, I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Uncrewed program, a weekly news program covering all things uncrewed in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Uncrewed Vehicle Systems International. Let's get into today's stories. FAA accepting Lance applications. The FAA has announced the opening of applications to those interested in joining low altitude authorization and notification capability. The agency will allow apps in order to join as approved Lance service suppliers, allowing them to join the ranks of the drone industry. The program is a joint effort between the FAA and the unmanned industry as a whole that enables smoother, safer integration of remotely piloted and autonomous systems into the nation's airspace. Suppliers help operators and pilots to obtain airspace authorizations through the FAA in order to operate in controlled airspace. Since the start of the program in 2017, the system has expanded to include more than 540 air traffic facilities and cover the vicinity of more than 735 airports. In February, the millionth airspace authorization was granted through the program, showing the extent and reach the program has found among drone operators. Lance does not allow suppliers any regulatory authorization, however, only allowing them to act as something of a middleman between the agency's more granular, technical systems and the public at large. Applications are accepted throughout the month of May, with submissions completed by the FAA during June. After the break, Ehong enters a new partnership. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon Fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the Record Out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. In the next Uncrewed Minute, let's take a brief look at a few shorter stories making the rounds of the Uncrewed vehicle communities. Ehong lays groundwork for AAM domination in Malaysia. Ehong has entered into a strategic partnership with Malaysian aviation company Aerotree Flight Services, kickstarting their AAM efforts to be ready for the impending eVTOL revolution. The deal will see the pair jointly develop urban air mobility businesses, laying the groundwork needed to operate a fleet of sustainable electric aircraft, from operators to MRO training in Malaysia. To build their AAM fleet, Aerotree has placed an order for 50 Ehong EH-216 aircraft, including EH-216S1, EH-216L, and EH-216F. Gamma inducts two new members. The General Aviation Manufacturers Association announced two more additions to the fold, welcoming unmanned technology companies UAV Turbines and Zipline as associate members. Zipline has made headlines in recent months with their efforts in automating small parcel delivery with the use of a multi-rotor fixed-wing drone. Their headquarters lay in San Francisco, California. UAV Turbines of Miami, Florida, founded in 2014 around the same time as Zipline, focuses on the research, design, and development of microturbines for use in small UAV systems. Voters turn out against Spaceport Camden. Camden Spaceport's fate is once again on the rocks after a referendum overwhelmingly rejected the planned development last week. The referendum posed a question to voters, quote, 
Shall the resolutions of the Board Commissioners of Camden County, Georgia, authorize the option contract with Union Carbide Corporation and Camden County's right and option to purchase the property described therein be repealed, end quote. More than 5,500 voters turned out, an impressive measure for a small local election. Central Colorado UAS to receive USI assistance and sponsorship. The Central Colorado UAS Group, or CCUAS, has expanded its reach across the state, drawing the attention of large drone industry stakeholders like the Unmanned Safety Institute. From its humble beginnings as a small drone enthusiast club in Buena Vista, Colorado, the CCUAS has added the institute as a major sponsor of the local group. The change will allow the organization to fund additional drone education programs in the Buena Vista and Salida high schools, as well as host its annual conference. That was our Uncrewed Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. UAVionics bought out by investment firm. UAVionics has announced its impending acquisition by DC Capital Partners. The company will join the rest of the DC Partners portfolio, which will, quote, propel UAVionics forward with the means to impact the broader aerospace and defense markets, end quote. The private equity investment firm retains more than $1 billion in total investments, with more than 60 acquisitions under its belt. That experience has allowed them to develop a strategic, systematic approach to shore up the efficiency of those companies that join the fold. DC Partners maintains that the inclusion of their strategic advisors are key to growing UAVionics. Their friends and contacts throughout the industry, or as the firm refers to them, quote, well-respected senior diplomatic intelligence and military officials, end quote, could prove to be a bountiful source of business advancement as the company looks to expand their customer base. CEO of UAVionics Paul Beard said that the two are well matched. Quote, DC partners share our passion for connecting everything that flies, especially our current general aviation and UAS avionics products, end quote. Beard continued, describing them as an expert in bringing smaller, younger companies into the prime of their operational lives. After these messages, Joby, CAE, working on training systems. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Joby, CAE, working on training systems. Joby Aviation and CAE have partnered to develop a series of flight simulation training devices that will be used to train the future pilot cadre of their EVTOL aircraft. Using the foundation established by Joby over the past five years of their development process, CAE will work to develop pilot training devices specifically designed around the company's peculiar and distinct aircraft. Joby intends to manufacture and operate its baby, which will require the company to retain training and simulation services for initial and recurring flight training. The investment into the eVTOL manufacturer falls in line with a CAE initiative called Project Resilience, a $1 billion Canadian dollar initiative to support sustainable, futuristic aviation technologies. Quote, CAE has a sterling reputation for delivering excellent simulation and training solutions, end quote, said Bonnie Simi, Joby Head of Air Operations. Quote, we look forward to a world where thousands of Joby pilots are flying our aircraft every day, and we couldn't ask for a better partner to help make that a reality, end quote. Simi says that flying for the company will be a dream come true for its team of pilots. And that's our program for today. 
You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.